Okay, hello everyone. How are you? It's K. So this is the 31st of May on Tuesday. So uh, this is a recorded video, not the live stream because I have to go out. So today this is a video, but uh, I would like to talk about one specific topic today on this video, which is the doji break. Because um, doji breakout and also engulfing breakout, in cyber break, outside cyber breakout, has been um, one of my main um, price action confirmations to to enter it for the entry in the five minute and also to see the overall market in the higher time frames like a daily chart or even weekly chart i do look at these doji breaks together with ichimoku because uh it becomes very powerful so today on this video um i would like to show how i see these candles with ichimoku especially doji break and hopefully you can learn something new on this video session so uh yeah so let me switch the screen okay and as a quick disclaimer as usual uh, this content is basically uh, based on my own experience so when you take trades please do at your own risks and also since this is live or video please if you can follow the rules and guidelines that would be great on the comment box and also recently there are so many fake accounts of my using my name on the social media and creating spamming others so please be careful i have no telegram no instagram no facebook and no direct messages so um today i would like to talk about the doji break and how i see these so let me switch to trading view and um, I will select a pair, which is Euro... Okay, I happen to have a Euro USD 4 hour chart, but I can take this as an example. So, if you are new to my channel, um, I am a trend follower. I capture the trend directions by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And then I look also look into the candlesticks and uh, which way the market goes. So, in the 4 hour chart, the market has been bullish. As you can see, the market has been marking higher highs and higher lows, so this is bullish overall. But um, when I look at the price, when I look at the candlesticks, I do look at the engulfing breaks and doji breaks. And um, especially doji breaks, I would like to talk about. So um, let's see. So for example, this is bullish, right? It's uptrend because the price has been above the Kijun Sen. Sometimes it broke the Tenkan Sen, but uh, it never touched, it never retraced, or it never broke the Kijun Sen, but still has been above the Kijun Sen, and the market has been bullish. And the market has been also above the Kumo too. So overall, this is bullish now. But right now, the market is about to break the Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span is almost touching. So it looks like the market is going into range or retracement. If the market breaks Kijun Sen, then um, it can go down to the Senko Span A is the idea. So this is bullish, right, that we confirmed. And when I see the bullish trend, as I mentioned previously on the lives and videos, I always look for the buying edge. I never look to sell. Before I did, I was sometimes a contrarian trading when the market is going up. I used to capture top like these points possibly to sell. But um, now I don't. I follow the uptrend and take swing trade because when it's uptrending like this, every time you buy, like if this were the four hour chart or five minute or one week weekly chart, whenever you buy, the market should go towards the, toward their direction uh, more longer than retracement because it's bullish. Above the Kijun Sen, Kumo is above. So, it's bullish, so that's why I'm now a trend follower. So after I kept the director direction by Ichimoku, then I look for the buying edge. Never look for the selling edge. But when I look for the buying edge, I do look at the multiple time frames. If you have been following my videos for a long time, you know I'm taking the one hour or 30 minute chart also to confirm and five minute for the entry edges. But uh, today, let me focus on the doji candlestick breaks. So 
we have many dojis. If I, if you see the chart like this, like, let's say without Ichimoku, right? First of all, without Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, you have many dojis. So, so let me just point which we have doji here. So if I just put the vertical lines, we have doji here. Doji candle is the body is very small and long wicks pointing up and downwards. That's called the doji candles basically. So um, we have doji here. This one is also doji, very small, but it's a doji too. And here too, we can call this a doji because body is very small. And also, let's see, we have exactly doji here. This is like the doji from the textbook. The start, the open and close are exactly at the same level and wicks up and down. This is the doji from the textbook. But if the body is tiny, we can also call it as a doji. So the other doji is here too. There is another clear doji. So we have many dojis. And here too, down here, we have another doji candles. So we have dojis like this. But today's point is you can't take whatever dojis in the market. There are dojis that you can take and you can't take. Okay, the, the, the doji you can, you can take, the doji you are able to take are the ones that breaks towards major direction. So in these dojis, first one, it broke up towards major direction. So this one is clear. When you buy, you can make profit. But what about these two dojis? These, these two dojis, afterwards, the market broke bearish. So this bearish breakout is against the major direction so these can be fake this breakout can be fake and the market soon goes backwards so in this case you don't want to take this doji break right so this is not a valid doji break to take and then looking at the next one here the market broke the doji bullish so this one was valid but soon there was a next doji on this second second doji it went backwards the doji has been broken bearish so this was a reversal doji we have a reverse doji and then the market went downwards so if you take the um, short term this is four hour chart but let's say if you're watching if you're following the one hour or 30 or even five minute you can take this doji reverse and follow downtrend but if you are following four hour if you wish to take the 4-hour uptrend, this one, you don't want to take it. Because you never know how far the market retraces backwards. In this case, it has been, uh, it has been bearish for the 4, hour, four candles here in the 4-hour. So I think this was down so much pips. It was uh, like 82 pips of downwards. So that was, you know, decent downtrend. But the thing is, if this is against... If the breakout is against major direction, we never know how far the market may be traced. So, yeah, for me, I don't take this doji break against major direction. And then, what about the next doji? This one over here, the doji breakout happened towards the major direction, and then it goes up. And you never come back to doji, but there's a pushback, but it just keeps going up this way. So you can follow the doji break to buy and then hold a swing on this way too. But the last doji, this one uh, just uh, you know broke the doji bearish. So the market has been retracing, but you can't trust this doji. So this is not valid. Okay, so like this, simply if you see uptrend, whether it's a wave analysis or um, Ichimoku confirmations, Whatever you find as a trend definition, always make sure to follow the major direction breakouts to buy. So this is a case in the 4 hour and let me again show it in the 5 minute. So let me see, hold on, let me just delete all these lines, let me clear the chart. Um, maybe we can pick random chart, maybe uh, let's see. USDJPY and 4 hour is now 
bullish in the candlestick, but in the Ichimoku, I think it's flat range. Yeah, Ichimoku says it's range. So when you see the range by Ichimoku, doji, doji breaks can be fake. So for example, here, um, you can see that, uh, hold on, let me do bar replay. Like you can see many dojis like this in the range market. Or right, Kumo flat, Kumo means Senko Span B flat, Senko Span A is also flat, and Kijun Sen is flat. All right, so this is range in definition by Ichimoku. When you see all the lines flat. So, but you see many dojis. You see doji here and doji here too. And also some doji here too. We have a couple of dojis here. But um, when it's range, these breakouts are not be so trustable in this particular time frame. Because first one, the market broke bullish, but then soon retraced backwards. And then the, um, this doji break, well actually, the close price did not really, you know, was above the doji. So it wasn't technically a doji break, but um, there was about to break. And then the market ranges, and then there is a latest doji here. And as I just move the candles one by one, there was a doji break. Doji break bullish, like this. This was a big breakout, but still the market is within the Kumo and Kijun Sen. And we have gold cross, um, Tenkan Kijun Sen, Chikou Span touching. So in Ichimoku Kin Kaohyo, it's range. So you can't really trust this doji break to buy. I would stay away in this case. Then uh, the market just goes backwards, retrace and ranges. Like this, oh, there's a big breakout. So this is inside bar break also. This is inside. This um, big bullish candlestick has been including two future candles and it broke. So this was an engulfing breakout. In price action, price action, it works, but um, in Ichimoku, the market is still range, so I can't take the 4-hour chart. But anyways, this is another topic, so I think I will talk about this one on the future videos. But um, just focusing on the doji breaks, when it's range, you can't trust, is something that you have to remember. And when it's against, when the breakout happens against major direction, most likely it becomes fake. That's something also to remember. Because um, we have many dojis, we have many engulfing candles, we have many inside bar breaks, outside bar breaks on the markets. But sometimes, you know, you, you may not know which one is trustable, which one is uh, not trustable. And this is the most simple way to identify which one becomes true and fake. So, yeah, so let me go down to the five minute. Let me just finish the bar replay. And I will just go down to five and cancel the Ichimoku. And then let's look into the market. So in terms of the wave, this is now, oh sorry, this is now range. So this is not a good example. Or maybe here, it was good example. So we have a couple of dojis here. The market has been bullish after the resistance breakout. Resistance is here. After the breakout, we have a couple of dojis. So maybe we can discuss on this as a chart example. We have doji here and another doji here too. Yeah, I'm just looking at the candles that are tiny body and wicks pointing up or down. Or both in both ways so these are the doji candles right and this is bullish the market was bullish before so you only trust the doji break bullish not bearish in this market so if i were watching the market if four hours bullish or daily is bullish and one hour 30 is also bullish then this is or i will be looking for the buying edge and doji breakout is one of my entry confirmations. So I do look at the doji breaks to be trustable entry edge. So we have a couple of dojis here. And let's look into the first one. The first doji, um, 
was forming and uh, the next one became a very small another doji so this is like two consecutive dojis so if it breaks bullish that would be trustable but if it breaks bearish i don't take it because that will be against the breakout direction so in this case it broke the major direction so this was trustable you can buy and the market just goes up in this way and let's look at the second doji on this second doji um, the market has broke bullish so if you buy on the next candlestick you can run profits too so this one was also true and the, th uh, the fourth doji here uh, it broke bearish against major direction against the breakout direction so th the next candlestick was bearish but it didn't last long and then soon the market just goes upwards so that was fake you can't take this one but the last doji after this one was formed next bullish candle has obviously closed above the previous doji previous two dojis so this one was trustable you can buy and you can run profit afterwards so you can see that it works in the five minute or the four hour chart so technically this is candlestick patterns and uh, it works on any time frames and so when I see charts by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, in higher time frames, I do look at these doji breaks in a daily chart, four hour chart, one hour chart, or 30. And when it comes to looking for the entry chance, I also look at the doji breaks. And when it happens, I take that as one of my entry confirmations. So, um, yeah, but looks like uh, today I was going to give my analysis on some pairs, but looks like these are all retracing and ranging. So, um, but let me see. Let me ch take the daily time frame and uh, see if we have, if we can find any significant market with the Ichimoku plus Doji candlestick today. So let me quickly screen the charts. Basically, I'm looking for the trending market or about to trend market and then i will look also whether there was a doji or not so like this one a couple of other charts also we have some dojis but um they are not so trustable because this is range even if the market breaks the doji break uh towards that towards downwards in this case uh it may not last long and the market soon reverse backwards so when kumo kijun sen are flat I don't even look at the candlesticks because they may not really work. But here too, when the market is within the Kumo, we have some dojis here and here. Uh, but um, every time it breaks, it doesn't really you know, go that much. The last doji break happened to be three consecutive bearish candles. So it was a good breakout. But um, when you see the break, next day you never know if this will happen if this breakout direction will continue for the next three days so in this case i don't take when doji break happens in the range or within the kumo but this is uh i think a very effective in terms of uh which doji break you can be you can trust which doji break you can't trust so uh yeah, let's see. Looks like all the daily time frames are now flat. So let me switch down to the four hour and redo my analysis. Oh, maybe this one's good. Since from JPY, we have uh, this is bullish. The market has been above the Tenkan Sen. So it broke the Tenkan Sen once before on the 26th of May. But afterwards, it has been above the Tenkan Sen. And Kumo has been bullish. Kijun Sen has been bullish also. You know, at times Kijun Sen became flat, so it may have been retraced back, but overall has been bullish because it's above the Tenkan Sen. The market has been supported by the Tenkan Sen. So here too, recently it had been supported and looks like it's going up this way. So, and Chikospan has been above candles too. That's also another confirmation for the bullishness. In this case, you have some Doji candles so let me just point 
these ones out so here here another doji i can see also a doji here too and let's see uh yeah we can call this as a doji too the body is very tiny so it's a doji so we have a couple of dojis so let's see which one broke bullish or bearish so we have four dojis here in the first doji um first doji after this one was formed for the next one two three candles it has been ranged it never closed above the doji but on this fourth candlestick i'm talking about this candlestick this close price became above the doji so this was a breakout so this is trustable so you can buy on the next candlestick and if you can simply put the stop loss below tenkan sen or kijun sen then um the market just goes up towards that direction that was one of the trustful uh, doji break um example and on the second doji on next one is uh was outside and um because outside means the next candles high and low has included the previous doji so in this case i wait for the breakout of the outside which happened exactly on this candlestick i will buy and keep holding and the next one is the doji we have a long wick pointing downwards and small wick pointing upwards in a very small body the next candlestick was bullish it broke the close price above the previous doji high so this was a breakout it's trustable and you can hold the buying position for the next eight hours so that's another formation but the latest doji here after this one was formed it broke against major direction so this you can't take it it's against major direction so it may not really work so you better skip this one yeah so but like this uh, if you can capture the market directions whether by the ichimoku or the price actions in waves and always take the breakout towards the major directions it tends to work but if you take it in the range market if you take the doji breaks on the range market or even the um, the engulfing break in the range market it may not really work so much and never trade against major direction never take these breakouts against major direction is a key to be to to be able to find the um, true breakouts so um yeah like this uh, please take time uh with you and you can look back your own charts or you can uh, do this practice on the tester you can run tester and only appear the candlesticks and uh, only try to identify the doji breaks whenever you see doji you can stop the chart and see if it breaks if it breaks towards major direction and monitor how the market goes up goes afterwards and see if it goes up or not and when you take the doji break against major direction uh, see what happens and then uh, you will know what exactly talk about so that's a bit of a recap on the doji break and again you can apply the same principle on the engulfing breakout too you can always follow the engulfing break towards major direction not in the range not in the uh contrarian trading so um then uh, you should be more uh, profitable in the long run so uh yeah so that was the topic for today uh it wasn't really so much about the ichimoku but uh you know sometimes i think these topics are important because uh this is basically how i see charts and uh i would like to share i'm willing to share uh, what i found based on my experience and how i use these small parts of the strategies so that you can build up your uh, you know practice with confidence and hopefully uh, for those who watches these videos i uh, can be successful in the long run so uh yeah so i have to go in about uh 15 minutes so uh, i will get ready and uh go out 
and most likely I will be watching this video outside also. I will be joining on the comment. So um, I will see you on, the, on this video or on the comment. And uh, yeah, see you soon. So if you liked it so far, please press the like button before you leave. That would be great. And uh, please also subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified as I upload these videos or as I do the live streams on my YouTube channel. So I hope to grow together and I hope uh, you have some nice trading days these days. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane everyone. Thank you.